What is up, everybody? That's right. You just tuned in to Real Last right here on Real Radio 104.1. My name is James John, comedian extraordinaire and the host of The Lowdown on Afro TV. That's right, Xfinity Comcast. I am joined in virtual studio by some really good friends of mine, some funny dudes. You know them. You love them. We're going to start off with our guest host today. We have Patricio. You know him from the podcast with a side of chaos and the Aaron Morse law firm as well. Patricio, what's going on today, brother? Not much, man. Not much. Just trying to make some money to get a car. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really trying to buy a car right now? Long story short, my uh, my baby tiny car uh, dealing with some mechanical issues that I can't. I don't got the money right now. I actually had to start a GoFundMe to uh, cover all that's going on right now. Damn. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. You out here asking for money, bro? Okay. I am literally <laughs> out here asking for money. Damn. That other voice you're about to hear is the Godfather of Orlando Comedy, Mr. Ken Miller, in the building. Ken, what's going on, bro? Hung over. Oh. Damn. Why? What's up? You know, last night was uh, I hosted open mic, and then uh, shout out to Joe Sensabella. They had the best stuff show in the main room, which was damn near sold out. It had to be 320 people in there. Shout out to them. So I, I was, wanted to I was, come to it, bro. We the open mic was fun. Um, I popped in, and Joe gave me five, did a tight five, and then we went to Corona. Shout out to Corona Cigar Bar, and yeah. Yeah, it's just one of them mornings. Damn, <laughs> I'm bro. Well, I'm trying to get right. You know, I know oh. I sound like Barry White right now, but yeah. Damn, you, you do, bro. You, you sound was at Corona like... last night? Huh? You was at Corona last night? The one on Turkey Lake, not downtown. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay. yeah. I only go downtown, yeah. the Corona downtown, if I'm downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, the one at Turkey went. Lake is near um near the improv. Yeah. But um, I got invited to some uh, a, a wind down spot um uh, from Salty. And um, I was like, ah, I'm just going to go to Corona instead. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, bro. It's more your speed. Well, I'm glad everything went well with the main show, man. Shout out to all the comedians that was on the show at the end. Yeah, bro. and shout know, out to the new comics, B. I, bro. It's so funny to see, you know, go. I'm 17, you're 20, like 20 years in, right? Mm hmm it's so funny to see them like get on stage and try, you know, try this out. Like for one comic, bro, true story. I bring them on stage. Mm -hmm. As soon as I introduce him, give him the mic, I go into the main room to just see how the show going. I'm gone for a minute and 30 seconds, James. If that. <laughs> I come back, Marvin is walking on stage. Like the comedian, he was new. He did a minute and a half. Mm. So I'm like, what, what happened? What happened? He says, yeah. He says, yeah, appreciate it, man. I say, yo, you're supposed to do five. That wasn't five minutes. I said, no, bro. You <laughs> I said, no, that was 90 uh, seconds. Uh, but bro. I try to explain to people. Everybody be like, man, I, I can do comedy. Until you get up there. Absolutely. You got that mic in your hand, uh -huh. that spotlight in your face. Yep. And you got five minutes to make a, a, a audience of people who have never met you, don't know who the hell you are, laugh. That's right. And, and you better and, be funny. And, and I try to tell them all the time, it's not as easy like it was one cat was like, man, how I how I sign up, man? Everybody getting up there, they not funny, man. I can do this. I uh, said, yeah, come back next week. But I'm telling you, last words, yeah, it's not <laughs> what you think it is. See, when you get on stage and you say that first joke, and the audience is like, mm. and you start hearing them crickets. Ooh, <laughs> it's a lonely place it's when nobody's not, laughing. I, I'm mm. telling you, everybody out there and they mama. I, I, and I'm only speaking for this because it's comedy. Because that's what I do for a living. I can't speak for nothing else. But I ain't never watched a TV show, <laughs> ER, and say, you know what, man? I'm about to go do surgery on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I, I've watched season three through five. I think I can, Yo, I, I think I can do real. heart surgery, bro. Man, I I've been, do it. I, James, I I've been watching. I watched cops for 10 years. Time. I ain't never arrested somebody. <laughs> I ain't never went out there and was like, you know what? Man, this it's this easy to lock people up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like story, and I only say comedy. So if you listen to this show, I know your job may be the same way. I'm a comic. I'm talking about comedy. Our our profession is the only one somebody in the audience can look and be like, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got that. That's I can easy. Do that. that looks easy. Wow. It's so easy. Bro. All he's doing is talking. How hard yeah. could that be? Yeah, yeah. So easy, bro. So easy. 
I, I actually get a couple of calls uh, when I'm talking to uh, clients uh, or prospects. They're like, you know, I almost went to school to be to be a lawyer. I'm like, well, you should have. So you wouldn't be calling us. Right you wouldn't now. be calling us. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> How about that part right there? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, good night, man. Good night. Shout out to Sensibella at the Improv and, and, uh, and all the new comics. And I'm wishing you the best in your success. And hopefully you stick with it. I like that, man. And shout out to all the new comics, like Ken said. But speaking of new, we got a new sponsor, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Bye -bye, bye -bye, yeah. uh, you both know him and love him. I believe, Patricia, you might know him, but I know Ken does, man. He's an yeah. old friend of mine. Gave me some of my first shows as a headliner. Truly love this guy. He was voted 2018 Florida Magician of the Year. I am talking about Todd Bode. I need oh. you guys to definitely check him out. The Ridiculous Comedy and Magic Show every Thursday night in Daytona at the Shores Resort and Spa. Now, show times at 7 p.m. and it's only $15. That's right. And like I said, hosted by 2018 Florida Magician of the Year, Todd Bode. Bogue. If you want more information about the show as well as Todd Bogue, just go to ToddBogueJokes.com. T O D D B O G U E G O, I'm sorry, J O K E S.com. I can't spell for a second. I went to school in Florida. Forgive me. But yeah, <laughs> definitely check him out. Yeah. yeah, and he's a good dude, man. I, Great I, same dude. Thing, I've worked with him before too, man. He used to put on some really good shows back in the day in Titusville. It was Titusville, yes. right? Titusville, yes, yeah. sir. Titusville, so man. And, and, and a really good magician. So shout out to Todd Bogue, man. Thanks for coming along with us, brother. Absolutely, man. Todd Bogue, he's done some shows even at my, my private parties, can at my house. And he's done some for my uh, mom at her hospital that she runs, man. Nice. Uh, my mother-in-law. This dude is good. He's phenomenal. And let me tell and you something. And funny. And funny. And I'll tell you this, man. Black folks love magic. If you do a magic <laughs> trick in front of black folks. Bro, you, we wilder. We will. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. When you do a magic trick for us, we yeah, are, man, come on. But you know, we 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 Bible people, ain't we? Are only, the only only person that perform magic and miracles is Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> that's it. That's different with us Spanish folk because, like, we get upset. Like, yo, how we do that? Really, y'all get mad? Y'all get mad at him? Yeah, like, no, there there was no rabbit in that in that sock. How the how the where, where that rabbit come from? Like, we get angry. We want to know how. Not black folks, man. Yeah, you think yeah. you can perform miracles? You do. You do. <laughs> who was the, who was the first person? I always wonder who was the first person. Like you know what, man? I'm just gonna start doing illusions to see uh, if people like this. Like, exactly, <laughs> man. <laughs> it was Jesus. Yeah, it was Jesus. Jesus, it was Jesus. Jesus was the first one to pull a rabbit out of the hat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Jesus was like Judas. You're gonna be betray me, but before you did it, pick a car, any car. <laughs> 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 is your car the ace of spades? It is. It is. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, do you think Jesus ever like just played around with his powers, like just doing? Oh, life? absolutely. Oh, yeah, oh. dude. Come on, man. As a teenager, you know he messed with people, man. You know he. <laughs> <laughs> you know he was doing underage drinking. Yeah. Turning water, it turned water into wine. And yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Je <laughs> Jesus was the original Archie's comic, V. He was always yeah. up to some mischievous, bro. <laughs> mischievous. He was Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> That's Let me stop joking, because I was joking about Jesus the other night, and the snake quote showed up at my house. Let me that is true. Joking. That is true. <laughs> Well, so definitely go check out Todd Bogue and his show at the resort, man. You guys will not be disappointed. I, I guarantee it. Trust me. Now, Patricio, I see you with a little cup, man. I'm just wondering what's going on. What's the occasion? You sipping a sipping some specialty drink out of uh, your little goblet? Is there a special <laughs> occasion? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, we are in pre gaming right now because it is Aaron Morse's birthday weekend. Oh, so she oh she brought everybody some drinks then. Oh, uh, her husband Sam uh, showed up with a nice case. We're all just like chilling, having a good time. It's a fr it's a good Friday once again, and we're just getting ready for the weekend. And of course, Erin for her uh, wonderful, wonderful birthday that's coming up. So, ha actually, today, if the show, you know, today's show, Erin, happy birthday, Erin Morse. Happy, happy birthday, birthday happy to Erin. Now, I know you're not supposed to do this. Um, but do we know how old she is, or is that allowed? I know it's considered rude to ask a woman her age. Oh, oh, no, I'll definitely say it on the air. It's actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's funny. That... Why is it disrespectful to only ask a woman her age and no, not a man? Why? Why is it disrespectful at all? Does anyone yeah. know? 
Well, because I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, go ahead, Patrice, because I, I have no idea. I'll, I'll take the bullet on this one. I I, I, I feel that N, N, men age better. Ooh, really? Think you think we, so? I think we do, bro. I, I don't know. I don't. But have you seen Angela Bassett, bro? Bro, <laughs> right, Ken? Am I right? Man, let me tell you something. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> All I'm, <laughs> That's I'm looking her up right now. I right, see how bro. old she is. Bro, 64 years old, bro. Bro, Angela Bassett is 64 years old. Have you 64 seen her? years old. Bro, like that's Patricio, crazy. Go to Google right now. Type in F I N E. She will pop out. My earlier statement. I retract my earlier statement because J Lo is 50 and she looked amazing. Selma oh. Hayek. Is also in man, yo same thing, yo dude. How they bury? Yeah, bro. Like, she was it, naked the other day on a balcony bro, for her birthday. How they bury is fifty six years old. That's crazy, bro. My knees look fifty eight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, they look good. I'm telling you, these Hollywood stars like they they sleep in Tupperware. There was a, there was an episode of Gary uh, Erie, Indiana, when I was a kid, where mm-hmm. everyone was young in the neighborhood because they slept in this Tupperware container to seal in the freshness and i'm the like freshness and i'm like you know what maybe that's you know what you, that, you might be on to something that's you know what you're absolutely right patricio black people <laughs> sleep in a container of freshness too it's called melanin that's yeah. right yeah <laughs> <laughs> we sleeping it all the time and yeah. stay looking this young bro every time i meet like an older black woman like how old are you they'd be like 71 i'd be like bro yeah. you look 40 years old bro Bill. tony roberts is about to be 60, the comedian. I had him on my show today, shameless plug on the lowdown. Tony Roberts, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's opening for Cat tonight. Yeah, 60 years old. Crazy. Bro, Tony looked yes. younger than I do. Like, yeah. I got to get my ish together because, bro, like, we just do not age. Shout out to black people, man. Shout bro, out to Melanin out there. We, dude, we had TK. Remember we had TK Kirkland? TK, yes. TK, TK Kirkland is 60 years old. That's insane. Matter of fact, this is 2021. So TK Kirtland is 62 years old, bro. That's insane, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy to me, man. How young he look. He look young, young for real, though, bro. Yeah. yeah. That, dude, I, dude I, can hang, I was hanging out the other night, and this lady was like, uh, I, I did a joke about, you know, when I do the black don't crack, whatever. Yeah. And she's like, are you really 46 years old? I said, yeah. She said, you look 30 years old. Damn. I said, you don't go. let if I said, don't let me have a fresh haircut. And if I yeah. put, put this gray out in my beard, absolutely. Everybody, I'm telling you, since I was like, whatever, I'm all everybody always looking at me like, yo, man, you do not look 40 some years old. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to I'm be 50 in a couple of years. Bro, when I shaved this beard off and I got that pubescent James look, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> you, you look like a baby, bro. <laughs> I do. I, I know I do, bro. I know. I, He's I, the- for y'all's y'all's is genetics, like y'all uh, for real, black don't crack. I've I've met sixty year old women who uh, sixty year old black women who look like they're in their late thirties, early forties. They look amazing, and then I'm like, I mean, I gotta help out the seniors every now and then. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's an effort to stay looking you, this young. You know, you, if you date a, a, yeah, if you date an Ethel, a Dot, she'll give you Werther's afterwards. Werther's <laughs> <laughs> <Or> the original. <laughs> Actually, uh, one of my colleagues at, uh, at Graffiti asked me to provide them a picture from high school because uh-huh. they're doing this little mural. And I want to show you guys because I, I want to see uh, Ken's reaction to my style back in 2003. And Ken wait, wrote me all wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't show it yet. Don't show it. We got to take a short commercial break. When we get back, we're going to be taking a look at Patricio's high school photo so Ken can roast his ass. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll be right back, right here, Real Labs on Real Radio 104.1. Back, everybody. You are still listening to Real Labs right here on Real Radio 104.1. I am hosting today. I am James Young, comedian extraordinaire. I'm in the virtual studio with some really good friends of mine, some funny guys you may know and love. First, we'll start off with Patricio. That's right. You guys know him and love him from the podcast with A Side of Chaos. And we have the godfather of Orlando Comedy in the building as well, Mr. Ken Miller in the house. Now, Ken Miller, man, we were talking a little bit. Uh, this is a sidetrack before we get to the Patricio high school picture. When you need money as a comedian, you'll take gigs you normally don't take. Like, I, yeah. I'm doing an afternoon show. Now, comedy, if you guys don't know, should never be done in daylight. 
There's something oh. about it. So I'm doing a, a matinee show for comedy, and it's in a retirement village. So it's going to be a little yeah, bit different. I'm doing a, a show at an apartment complex tonight. Damn! And dude, the dude that booked me was like, yeah, man, it'd be about 25 people. And I know somebody that worked the show. He said, yeah, it was like six people last time I was there. Damn. But I'm, I agree with you with the daylight thing because when we I ran the open mic last night, it was still yeah. light out. You know, we started at seven thirty, and I had to get them to dim the lights in the club and mm -hmm. the bar. I'm like, yo, can y'all turn the lights down because it's like bright. I don't know what it is that the light people don't want to laugh. No, I don't know what it is about being out no. in the light that people are like, ooh, comedy's supposed to be in the dark. Like, dark, why? yeah. <laughs> why are we doing this show with the <laughs> sun is still out? Why you ain't laughing? It's daylight. <laughs> <laughs> why also too? Why is it that we say the sun is up? <laughs> Man, I, I ain't know. trying to do no comedy when the sun is up. <laughs> but I, I think it has to do with like how we were we were raised uh, watching comedy because like all the comedy shows and all the stand up sets would be after hours at like, you know yeah. late, late night, night, yeah, that kind of thing. So I I guess it's like it plays on the mentality that like we're used to seeing comedy late night so it, yeah it, it, even the shows we watch was called an evening at the improv like yeah. it wasn't hey man brunch with the improv like yeah. it was or, or, or it was called the late show yeah absolutely yeah, bro. you know by the way the late show is always the worst if anybody's out there listening you understand uh sometimes you'll do a gig and on a saturday at, at the club they'll have two shows the early show and the late show now unless you're at the improv normally the late show is pure hell it's everybody oh. who's drunk, who couldn't get out of work on time, already pregame, like Patricio and his friends walk in loud. And I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I bet you look at as he takes a sip out of his uh, Pope pimp goblet. But yeah. <laughs> God, All I'm, right, so go I'm ahead. I'm telling you, dude, the late show Friday. I I don't I don't hate I don't hate much. But I hate the late show Friday. Friday. It's different. I can't stand the late show Friday, bro. It's the yeah, worst. It, it usually is. It's it, people are not the most behaved at that late nah. show at all. They don't. They don't care. They came there to just blow some steam off and drink Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. But before we went to break, Patricio, because he's a brave soul was uh, about to show us a picture that he found from high school that he was going to put up on the screen. Now, let me remind you guys, go to all of our social media outlets so you can follow us, but especially on YouTube, you can actually see this as it's happening. So you're going to miss out on seeing Patricio's high school picture unless you go right now, go to YouTube, please subscribe, like, and comment. Now, Patricio, what age were you in this picture you're about to show us? So the picture I'm about to show you is, this, is, this got taken in 2003. And at that time, I was boxing. I was in, in incredible shape. I was slim. I was, I was, I was fine. Nice. And I, I, I had a little extra money because of boxing, so I treated myself to some stupid stuff growing up. Oh yeah. Oh and, yeah. Uh, the photo I'm about to show you is uh, in between classes, and I'm I'm with these three beautiful uh, young uh, young girls, and then here is here here I go. Oh, okay. I see you, sir. Yeah, that ain't that bad. That's Gateway High School. Uh, yeah, how you know? I went to Gateway. You went to Gateway? Yeah. I don't know why my my face like my voice just got like uh, three. Uh, like, yeah, three yeah. Yeah, that's you a <laughs> Panther, sir. Gateway High School, man. <laughs> oh, this oh, you went to Gateway? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, this ain't Raymond. It's somebody yeah. else. <laughs> that, that, hey, hey, that was the dress back then, though. The little it suit was. with the black shirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you. Got, I don't know why you got a whole turtleneck. Cross, turtleneck. turtleneck. I don't know why man. you got a cross on. You don't go to church. <laughs> I don't even know why you out here got out, out here uh, blaspheming Jesus hey, like that. Because he said, "Man, if I don't got a real father, maybe I just go to a spiritual." <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn, I know that's, that's, that that's I'm sorry. That was, good, though. that was good. I'll give you. Sorry, I yeah. apologize for that. Man. Oh, I yeah. put nah, that, that outfit wasn't that. That was all right. That, that was a good bad. outfit, actually. Man. Yeah, it actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, we I don't all know had why that. The you wore to school though. Yeah, this is that's what I wore to school. That was yeah, it. yeah. I don't know oh, why I know you got why he wore school. this. I know why he wore to school. I know why what he was doing right there, sir. Oh, yeah. you see the three ladies around him. That's what yeah. He was that, doing. That's the crazy. That's the craziest part of the picture is the white lady the, with a <laughs> is he white with a mouth wide open. What's going on? That, <laughs> that is, I've seen that thumbnail somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. it's 
it's so funny. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm upstairs in the, you know, where I record radio at, and I had made a TikTok uh, a few uh, months ago about it's the one where you show up a picture of yourself at, uh, at a young age, and then it's like yeah. back down memory lanes. Mm -hmm. And this is the picture I posted. It's my high school basketball picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. 1995, bro. Damn, <laughs> Extended bro. like I'm in the military there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> bro, I found I found it in the garage, bro. I was like in um, cause my I, it was for my father, and I gave this picture to my father, and when he passed away, I I got the picture back, and it was in his Bible the whole time. Like he kept it in his Bible. It was like the place mark in his Bible. Oh man, that's oh, nice, man. bro. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I you know what that I, felt like. Uh, hey, hey, man! My father wasn't around. You know what I mean? So wow, me either. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but I, but I knew. But he lived up the street. That's the crazy. That's the sad thing. He, he lived he, in the same housing project. Kid, stop it! Are you for real? Bro, my daddy would pop up every now and then, drunk, and my mama, you know, my stepmom, but you know, I call her mama, mm -hmm. was like, "You can't pick." You know, they call me Kente. You can't pick Kente up. You, not, you drunk. Did you just come pick your kid up? You drunk? Like, no. Your dad was like, no, it's fine. I'm going to let yeah, Kente yeah. drive. Yeah, he's, <laughs> good. He's, good. he's 14. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, he was an amazing grandfather. That's you know what I'm saying? He made, he made up for all the lost time with his grandchildren. And when he passed away, the, what made me so mad was people speaking at his funeral talk about what a great person and a great role model and I learned so much from from him and I'm like he didn't really? do that to me <laughs> no man bro that's that's a weird thing because my dad is loved by so many people but I didn't know him like yeah that. and I still don't know him on that level of father and son if that makes any sense like no, I, I don't does. begrudge him but I just don't know him like yeah. that. yeah but everybody who speaks to him loves him loves you know what I mean loves that I man Greensboro North Carolina loves Chick McAdoo I, so I just, dude, I'm at the funeral and I'm like, yo, who y'all talking about? Talking about, yeah. Like, ain't no way y'all talking about this. Hey, go ahead and get the beep out. I was about to cut. <laughs> ain't no way you talking about this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> ain't no way y'all talking about this dude. It's uh, just, but I, 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 you know, I came to terms with it as I got older. Yeah, because you know, when I got older, I found I found out what his demons were. You know, heroin addict, mm -hmm. um, alcoholic, um, PTSD from Vietnam. Yeah, but you don't absolutely. know that when you're a kid because nobody you tells don't. you that stuff. You yeah. just think he's just an awful person that don't want to spend time with his son. But it's not the case. But it's yeah. not the case. Yeah, my dad had his own demons. His was ladies. Yeah, yeah, my dad loved the ladies. I told y'all that we were finding. Uh, siblings out there, like we were, like, 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 like where's Waldo? Yeah, like, oh, that you, bro. <laughs> we when, do your 23 and me and watch all them trees <laughs> pop up, <laughs> like that doctor. You see that documentary with the yeah, doctor? Bro. That, yeah, <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, hey, do your 23 and me and see how many people out you gonna be like, bro, I got 17 brothers and sisters. <laughs> My dad was different, and here's the thing, Ken. I don't know if it was the same with you. My dad had other families, right? Like when he and my mom split up, he got another family and he had more kids. Yeah. But my brother Cedric grew up with my father and his mom, which is, you know, he had a very different experience, I'm saying, growing up. Jay, uh, I didn't even know you had a brother. Bro, my bro oh my God, my brother Cedric looks just like me, which is I funny. Didn't even know you <laughs> and he is completely different. Like he's soft spoken. Uh, he's very introverted, man. And he's very, very, very religious. And 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 when I and, say and, crazy, and, and, and you the opposite. You I'm the opposite, bro. <laughs> hey, nigga, where, hey man, where the bitch hey. is at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can say that. I'm so scared I say that. Yeah, no. <laughs> make sure, you, make sure you, yeah, yeah. My bad, Casey. <laughs> I missed the button. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the crazy thing is. Me and my brothers, all we all have different. Me and my brothers all have different fathers. None of okay, us have the okay. same dad. Um, seven of us have the same mom because you know my mother passed, and then then the other three have different same mom. And then I have my niece, who my mama adopted, who's actually my niece, but my sister because my mama yeah. adopted as a sister. Yeah. We are all the same, really. If you walk into the house, we are all the. We are funny. Yeah. Um, charisma. 
yeah. charming. Yeah. We are all, dude. My wife said something to me the other day that I have. I'm telling her she's never said to me in eight years. She said, "Yeah, I, she, she said, you're very charming." I said, "For real?" She is. Nice. I said, "You've never called me charming." She says, "Let me tell you something. When we start going therapy at the church, she told the pastor. He said he's gonna come in here. He's gonna charm y'all, and y'all gonna <laughs> call for it." And my pastor was like, "Now nah, you can't get us, man." I went to two sessions. They was like, "Yeah, he's yeah, he got." <laughs> Ken got the keys to the pasta catalog. Bruh, like, that's real. how you know. <laughs> we are all the same. Bro, and, and I've, I've said this on this show before. My brother and sisters are way funnier than me. You, you did say that. You they said just that. can't do stand-up. Okay. They are, bro. When my brother, the other day, I called him on Easter, and yeah. he said he was in church for nine hours. They, they had a half. <laughs> he said they had a half-time half time show. <laughs> He said, bro, I swear to God, Rihanna was up in there singing. <laughs> umbrella. He said they had a marching band, a bro, step he said, team. I ain't, never been, hey, James, I ain't never been to a church with two TV timeouts. I don't even know what is going on. Man, I, I had to pull over. I was laughing so hard, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> funnier. Way funnier than me. So it's so crazy that... So you got so you got brother Cedric. Who what else you got? Other brother like that two, you know of. I got two sisters. I got Docia. I got Shanna. Uh, also, man, um, my, we were fine. We think we got one more. And I got a brother Morel too that I found about five years ago. Yeah. Wow. Have but, I met any of your siblings? I don't think you have. You would have remembered because my brother Cedric looks just like me. Do they live young. in Orlando? No. Cedric and Morel and Docia all live in the Tallahassee area. Okay, because that's where you're originally from, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. yeah, so I think if we go searching, yeah, you that's know what I'm saying. If you bro, mess if we go looking, me. bro, my my dad was out there, like he was truly that dude, man, back in the day. Papa was a Rolling Stone. I'm just gonna say that, bro. That's that's funny, man. That that's, that's <laughs> yeah, my dad. That's, I know I'm I am my father's only child. When I was a kid, I remember. He w we hung out with this lady. I went to a house, her house, and he, she had a baby. And he was like, "Yeah, this your sister." And then, like the next year, that wasn't my sister no more. <laughs> so I'm assuming that wasn't his kid. Like oh, she was wow. like, "This your baby." So, but <laughs> oh wow, maybe I do 23 and me, bro. And and I might have some people pop up. But as far as I know, I am Chick McAdoo's only child. As far as I know, and, so and, and it's too late because when my grandparents passed away. Um, they sold their land and I got some money off of it and all oh, the wow. money came to me because my father's passed, so I got his share. So I done spent the money up. So if you pop up <laughs> talking about you chick McAdoo child, that money gone, son. Hey, man, <laughs> let us know out there, Real Last fans, if you have ever found a sibling out there by doing a, a DNA test or just because your family told you when somebody passed, hey, you know that's your sister, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Right here. Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. Back, everybody. Thank you, because you are still listening to Real Laughs on Real Radio 104.1. I want to remind everybody to please go out there and follow us on social media. We need to love. Go to Facebook and follow us. Please go to Instagram and follow us. And now you can actually see our faces on YouTube. We need you guys to subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget, we're going to be doing... Some upcoming comedy shows, so you guys want to definitely stay tuned on our social media so you can guys know when the when and the where, when that's going to actually go down. I'm in studio right now with the Godfather Orlando Comedy, Mr. Ken Miller, and from the podcast with A Side of Chaos, Mr. Patricio, a.k.a. Rocky. Now, we were just talking about something that hit home to me and Ken uh, when you might find out at a funeral or when somebody in your family passes, somebody might lean over and look you in the eyes and say, you know that, you see that person right there? You know that's your brother, right? <laughs> uh, Why is it always like that? It's always one of the oldest, eldest members in the family. Be like, hey, man, listen. <laughs> and, and you know, it's crazy, man. And and, and I always have the preface this, uh, when I say I, I'm speaking for the black experience because I'm yes. black. Yes, yes. Because I know white people are like, it happened to us too. I never met a white person, like, just randomly met somebody. Like, yo, you know this show. You just yeah. got your brother. <laughs> I have seen this in our community all the and time. We're, and we're, we're sweet. Like, you know, you'll have you, the daddy, I have a baby. They go send the baby to live with the grandma in Arizona. Yep. And you're yep. thinking that's your cousin this whole time and come nope. to find out, you know, that was a whole episode of Moesha. It's true, though. <laughs> it's true. Yo, the whole happens. time that was her brother, bro. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
Bro, it's so crazy. <laughs> and like I said, it's usually the oldest person, the, the patriarch in the family, he'll just lean over and be like, you know, that's your sister, Listen. right? And you'll be like, what? Wait, uh, what? you got so many questions. And they're like, no, nah, I'll tell you later. And they don't ever tell you later. That's just it. That's but, it. Yeah, yeah. In the in the Spanish world, it's more of like this is your uh, this is your cousin's brother's sister from that marriage. Like they, they give you like the entire formula of how this person is part of your family. Like I don't know them and I don't like them. Do I have to hang out with them? Yes, that's your cousin's sister's brother's uh, friend. You you have to. And yeah. and I and I think it's the same in Latin culture too, Patricio. But in black families, Ken can tell you we got twenty eight cousins. Yeah. yeah. First cousins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twenty. I, one of my my cousins. So my cousin's kid would be second cousin. Yeah. Okay. So one of my second cousins actually calls me Uncle Kenneth because me and her mama grew up together like brother and sister. Sister. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And so she always called, and I always love it for her. I'm, I'm I never corrected her. I never like hey, you know I'm your cousin. Mm-hmm. I, she always called me Uncle Kenneth. You know what I mean? That's but crazy. That that's just how you know. We, I, that's just how we were raised and how we grew up. I, I, it's so, dude, I got like, when I grew up, it was like, you know, you would have like a niece or nephew that mm-hmm. was your age. Yes. But they never call you, unk, you know, no. they, y'all were like, you know, that's, you know, that, that call you know what I mean? Cuzzo. Like, Cuzzo or brothers. Like, it, yeah. it's so, it was, it's so, it's so weird. But to find out, you know, going back to you, to find siblings out there. As that's, an adult, as, as an, an adult, adult, man, yeah, that's crazy. The one, the one, number one is just the safety of it. Of you out here, uh, you know, you married, but yeah. let's say you single, you meet some girl, y'all dating, y'all get married, mess around, want to have some kids, y'all do your DNA test to come find out, y'all. <laughs> I'm glad y'all, y'all, y'all brothers and sisters. I'm glad you brought that up, Ken, because that actually just happened to a couple in Texas. Wait, what? Yes, it was what, Texas. Selena and Joseph Quinones, if I got the names wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had been married over 10 years, and she did one of those 23 and me DNA tests you talk about, Ken. It comes back, turns out that they're cousins. <laughs> the husband and wife are, got two kids, healthy kids. I think one's 10, one's three years old. But what do you do then? They said they what freaked you- out. What she do said, you do? do we get divorced? Do we stop loving each other? Nope. They said, man, you know what? We just going to stay together. But it does change the way that she it, introduces yeah. introduces him to her family now, like, or, or anybody. Like, hey, this Joseph, this, this is my cousin. How y'all? <laughs> 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 hey, the crazy thing about that, you telling me nobody in the family knew. Nobody knew. They said. That's some bull. That's some bull. So, so, you know what? I bet the grandmama knew. So the grandma over there like, mm-hmm, I see him. Look at that. You know they got a word for cousins to do what y'all do, right? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is, man. Yeah, so like, yeah, what do you do? Like, what do you do? Do you divorce? Do you stay together? Like, that's... But they wasn't first cousins. They were like third or fourth removed. Well, so... okay, now I've, I've known that to happen because I, I dated a, a girl one time who, when we broke up, she started dating a dude that she... T- she had told me to do was her cousin, and uh, and and, and, I, okay, years, yeah. and years later, kind of find out she's like, no, seriously, I wasn't selling you that to, because I've met. No, he's really like my third cousin, but you know, we fell in love, and they they is married that, now. Is that weird though? If you know that's your third cousin, and you still I date, think like, it, it is to me, to me too. Like I it don't is think, to me. like I'm not now, nah, now, nah, son. I, I still be like worried that our kid gonna come out funny. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not trying to be funny about it. But like, I, I, I don't you hear about like about family members and stuff in these certain places? They they have inbred kids, and the kids yeah. are not okay. I'd be nervous about that, man. Like, yeah, what it's if- called Alabama. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's that old. That's that old testament love. Where he, oh, he had no choice. Yeah, y'all was the only uh-uh. two people on the planet. Yeah, <laughs> some of y'all are gross out there, man. You, Yo. you can't use your, you can't use your family reunion as a dating pool. That's y'all nasty. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say like th- this makes this them finding out that their cousins makes family reunions a lot easier. Oh, yeah. No, man, that's disgusting. I know people who date their cousin. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying not to be a guy that judges you, but I'm I'm judging you for real. I'm looking at you funny. Mm-hmm. If you're using your own family to date, like, yeah, mm-hmm. that's, yeah, yeah. But if you didn't know, then that's, 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 different. I, that's all right. Yeah. But if you knew that was your cousin. Yeah, you look Yeah, nasty. that's a little gross, yo. 
That is a little gross. So yeah, the, the couple said they're gonna stay together. They already got two kids. They've been married over ten years. So yeah, you already in it now. So yeah. <laughs> all, I, all I can do is love you, boo. Yeah, and that's it. I might as well, man. Yo, we got the shirt. You know, the shirt says "I'm with her." Like, yeah, I'm with cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and the arrow pointing over to the cuz. I'm with cousin. Bro. <laughs> oh man, let me ask y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, like that, that. I've seen. I've seen stories of like people who like a son dating his mom. I've seen. Cousins. Oh. Uh, yeah, it, it, the the world is crazy out there. I never and... understand. Okay, so let's say if I did watch uh, adult content, mm -hmm. um, I allegedly, don't, I, allegedly, allegedly, I don't, I, I don't understand the step, the stepmom, like, like who, like who, who, who out there that like, oh man, this the genre I want to watch. Like, <laughs> you <laughs> disgusting. Well, well, no, I want to. I, I got the question of like, okay, so it's like the stepbrother and the stepsister, and then somehow the stepmom. Well, comes in. That's weird. Yeah, and this is just from, from uh, science research that, that uh, we've done here. And I'm like, no, the, how is there like two step, like there's a stepbrother, the stepsister, and the stepmom. No, she got to be the mom to one of those kids, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it don't make sense. It yeah. does not make sense. I, I've never looked, at, bro, I, I, maybe I'm just a little different, but I would not be trying to get at my step sibling. That's nah. weird. Yeah. That's your sister, man. That's your, yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I'm judging you. But I it's, like, a, it's a, I'm like I said, I don't, I don't watch it. Yeah. But if, but if I, I've heard about it, there's a, there's a big, a genre of, of stepson, but, but, step mama. <laughs> but what does that say about you if that's what you want to say? That's what I'm saying. I'm what like, does that no, say? Like, that's you know, but people had a weird fetish, you know, like you know, with your feet, your feet only fans page. Like, thank you, yeah, hey, for thank you for reminding me, Ken. Hey, everybody out there, if y'all want to see me, just go to showmeyourfeet.com. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know where this whole infatuation of like uh, stepbrother and stepsister started from, right? Hell no. I've I've thought about this a, a, a lot, and I think because oh, you wanted them freaks, that's why. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> I can't confirm more than I. <laughs> but I, 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 you remember the movie, uh, Cruel Intentions? Yeah, I remember. Oh, I didn't watch it. No. I, I, I may have watched it. I don't Ryan, remember it. Too. Sarah Michelle Geller and Ryan Philippe, right? Yep, Ryan Philippe. And I'm just like, I'm thinking about that right now. I'm like, I, this, I think that's where it all started because they were weird. They were yeah. And stepsister, they had like a really weird, uh, relationship. They did. It was just like, oh, they're, they're beautiful. They're gonna, they're gonna be part of it. They're gonna do their thing. And then it's just like, oh, okay. I guess we're okay with it. Yeah, I forgot about it. They were they were rich kids. Um, parents had gotten married, and they had some kind of weird relationship where he wanted her. And, oh, I can't talk about it now. You got a baby on your yeah. leg. Yeah, hey, man. She still got this random. And the kids trying baby. to run. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. that's Sorry how they do in the office. <laughs> Employee of the month gets the white baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's that baby Patricia done took from somebody. <laughs> I think you met the office. <laughs> hey, hey, that baby, that Pre Patricia got that baby from the Dropbox, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's his job. He goes to the firehouse and collects the Dropbox. Baby. Yeah, collects that, Dropbox. That baby. Six for the day. We've met our quota. All right, we're good. That's funny. Hey, hey, if you have a white one, bring it by. We've already got plenty of Latin ones. <laughs> And you know, ain't nobody dropping off no black baby. It's tax season. It's that, oh, we collecting them, bro. <laughs> yeah, we need that social, baby. We need that social security number. <laughs> and by the way, man, the people you're talking to right now, besides Patricio, I forgot about him. We 1099, so tax season is not a happy yeah. occasion for us. We pay Uncle Sam. That's right. Yeah, man. yeah. Every year, I, I, I've got to say that because I was working a regular job, mm -hmm. that kind of helped me out. We have yeah. To, yeah, but this year, yeah, hey, bro. it's it's gonna be different. I'm I'm gonna probably owe some money. I bro, still have to file. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll be last hear, minute. I'll be filing at eleven fifty nine. Oh dang! <laughs> Why? Why does every th this upsets me with everyone? Because all my friends right now either gonna be filing for the extension or they are just about to file. The moment that that W two or the, I'm ready. I am ready before they even the, they open the the doors. I, I've already filed. I got that off my books yeah i'm done i did Not i me. did mine and real laughs already bro i don't mess with hey i'm like uh dr dre he said i only fear two people that's god and the irs i don't play with them i don't play with them at all <laughs> not at all bro 
Now, I know we almost got about two minutes left here, and I want to give everybody an opportunity to plug what they're actually got going on this weekend. I'll start with myself. I do not have anything except this show I'm about to do right now. I'm doing a matinee show for Retirement Village. And other than that, I'm going to be checking out Curtis Bateman's show, Straight Foolishness. That's right. This Saturday, if you guys want to join me, go to my Facebook. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be supporting that brother. He does clean comedy shows at the church, so I want to support him, man. God bless. Nice, nice. Now, Mr. Patricio, will you tell us all how they can find you, each and everything that you do and tell everybody all the different things you host and what you're involved in whether it's bingo open comedy mic uh or uh trivia check me out go to with side of chaos.com i'll do this real fast zach porter ali flores da daniel martinez uh preston canavan uh tony b tristan tate and zizish i messed that up i'm so sorry thank you for coming out to the open mic comedy at graffiti junction thorn park every thursday at nine o'clock every thursday that's every week now okay i thought it was once a month but it's every week on thursday they like me they want me more all right. Congratulations, man. I'm glad it's going well. Please go support Patricio and all the things that he actually does, man. He's really killing it out here, man. Thank you, Patricio. Now, Ken Miller, what you, where you at this weekend, man? Man, this weekend, Friday the 21st, I will be at the corner, Bonkers Comedy Club, downtown Great club. Orlando. Um, that Saturday, I would be in Tampa with my man Ron Hortman at his Kava Bar. He running the comedy show up there. And then Sunday, I would be at Sidespitter's Wesley Chapel um, headlining that room. So I got a, a nice, busy weekend, man. Nice, man. Congratulations, Ken. Kill it, bro. Appreciate you. Will, will do. All right, I want to remind everybody out there of our brand new sponsor. You guys need to check out my man, Mr. Todd Bogue, the Ridiculous Comedy and Magic Show every Thursday night in Daytona at the Shores Resort and Spa. Uh, 7 p.m. showtime. It's only $15 hosted by the 2018 Florida Magician of the Year, Todd Bogue. Now, for more information, visit toddboguejokes.com. That's T-O-D-D-B-O-G-U-E-J-O-K-E-S.com, toddboguejokes.com. Check it out. The Ridiculous Comedy Magic Show every Thursday night at the Daytona, in Daytona at the Shores Resort and Spa. Thank you guys as always for listening to us. This is Real Last. Be sure to follow us on all social media. Until the next time, tell them, Ken. Take your ass to bed. <laughs> we out of here. Good night.